Hey guys, I'm myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And one of the most requested features for the iPhone has been always on display. It was rumored to be coming to the iPhone 13 lineup and iOS 15, but that feature is not here just yet. You guys have asked me to try to find a workaround on how to get always on display. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable always on display on an OLED display iPhone. By the way, I only recommend this for OLED display iPhones. In about five minutes, I can show you how to enable this. You only have to set it up once and you're good to go. As always, if you want to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and updates, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, the first thing you need to do is find an application in the App Store. I'm using this one here that enables the nightstand clocks, one similar to this one here. I'll link this one in the description if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. Not a sponsor or anything, just an app that I chose for this one. There's a bunch of you go ahead and search the App Store for nightstands are always on displays. Once you have the application that you want, which is this one right here, the one that I've chose, you want to head on over into settings. Inside of settings, you want to head on over to the accessibilities tab. Under accessibilities, you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and you want to find guided access. Now you want to go ahead and enable guided access here and then you want to go into passcode and settings and you want to enable face ID because we're going to be using face ID to unlock and lock our devices and you want to create a passcode just in case. I'm going to go ahead and type 000 just for the purpose of the video here. We're going to go back once and then we're going to go ahead and make sure we enable this part here. So accessibility shortcut, make sure that's turned on and where it says display auto lock, you want to set that to never. So you're all set and ready to go in terms of the guided access. Now, once you launch your application, all you have to do here is triple click the side button, one, two, three, and this will go ahead and lock your application in place. So right now, no one can access your iPhone. You have your display right there, always on. You can place your iPhone down. If you want to lock it, you can lock it in place just like so. Click on the side button and go ahead and unlock it again. No one can get access to the phone as you can see right there. Now, if I double click on the side button, this will enable Face ID to unlock the iPhone. So double click Face ID, boom, we're unlocked. There we go. Now, if I lock it again, let me go ahead and show you one, two, three, and I go ahead and try to unlock it by double clicking. It won't unlock because face ID is not in frame, as you can see right there. So it'll continue to stay locked. So the only thing, the only uh, workaround that I can find right now is double clicking on the side button here with guided access to unlock and lock this cool application in place. And since this application has a lot of dark colors here, the OLED display will not be affected. You can also choose different options and settings within the application that you choose. You can go ahead and play around with this settings but again guided access three clicks on the side it locks the application in place you can put your iphone down always on display you can lock it if you want you can click it on the side one more time just to unlock it and have your always on display show and then double click unlock boom we're in the phone just like so this is the easiest workaround that i can find as of right now for ios 15 on the latest iphone 13 pros and any oled display iphone let me know if this is something you would use on your iphone on a daily the only compromising thing here is that you have to open the app before you lock your iphone and triple click the side button in order to have that always on display and double click in order to unlock it and get access to your phone that is the only uh downside for this uh workaround but i think it's a pretty a uh, solid idea here here to get this working on your iPhone very simple very quickly as you can see right there thank you for watching this quick update guys and I'll see you on the next one peace